right, Mom is going to bring out a marshmallow. To eat. Are these marshmallows? Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to fly out the butterfly. Here's the thing. You guys can eat one marshmallow if you would like right here. Mom is yes. going to put one marshmallow out. Or you can wait five minutes. If you wait five minutes and we come back and the marshmallow is still there, then you get five marshmallows and we get to play the marshmallow game. <laughs> no, no, you want to play the marshmallow game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. everyone, Board Game Brody here with Meeple Mountain. I have Marshmallow Test here from Game Right. It's a delayed gratification trick-taking card game that takes the theme of the Stanford Marshmallow Experiment, similar to what we just did with our kids just now. The game is for two to five players and plays in about 20 minutes. The game's mechanic is really a trick-taking game with these squishy marshmallows being used as points. The big marshmallow is five points, and each of these little ones is one point. The first player to get 20 points will win the game. Now, whoever last ate a marshmallow becomes the start player and the dealer for the first round. And the deck is then shuffled, and it consists of 12 cards of each color or suit. Red, green, blue, purple, and orange. The cards are dealt out, so each player gets 12 cards each round. You will then want to organize your hand just like any trick-taking card game. And just like in most trick-taking card games, the first player will choose a color, which is called a lead color, and each player will then have to follow with the same color. If you don't have the color that was used to start the trick, then you can play any card, but you won't be eligible to win the trick, unless it's a trump card, which is used in later rounds. In the first round, there is no trump. Whoever plays the highest card in the lead suit wins the trick. That player who wins the trick collects the cards and places them face down in a stack in front of them. Make sure that each trick you win is placed in a separate stack each time so that you can see how many tricks each player has won so far. Now in this game, depending on your player count, you will go out 
of the game when you hit a certain number of tricks. So in a four or five player game, you will go out when getting three tricks. In a three player game, you will go out when getting four tricks. And in a two player game, you will go out when you get six tricks. This game is different from other trick taking games in that regard. But not only when you go out, but also how you score points. It's not the number of your tricks that you score when you go out, but, but rather it's the number of tricks that the other players have won, not including your own, that you will score when you go out. So you will be trying to lose tricks as well as win tricks. And the longer that you stay in the game, the more likely you will score more points. Unless you are the last one, because when everyone else goes out and there is only just one player left, then they will score zero points. So the first player to go out could score something like five points. And the second player could go out and score seven points. And then when the third player goes out, they could win something like 10 points. And the last player, nada, zilch, nothing, zero points. But when you're the last player, you do get a little something. It's not points to be able to win the game, but for this next round, you can look at your cards and you get to pick the trump color. Trump means that it will beat all other colors for the duration of the round, but you will still need to obey the rule in following suit. If you don't have the suit or the color that is led in the trick, then you can then play a trump card to try to win that trick. Really, choosing the trump should give you an added bonus that lets you catch up in the game, so it might not be too bad trying to stay in as long as you can to get the most points because if you don't get the points, then, well, you get the bonus for the next round, where you are more likely to play better and win more points that round. Play continues each round until a player scores 20 marshmallow points, at which point they will take all the marshmallows that they scored, and they'll place them one by one in their mouth until all are inside, and then they will try to say the words marshmallow test. Marshmallow test. If the other players can understand them, then the player confirms their championship. If not, they score too many points and the players all need to play the game again to see who is the actual champion of Marshmallow Test. Seriously though, the game takes your trick-taking skills and put them to the test. Can you maneuver the other players in staying in but not being the last one? But also, this strategy might not be the best option. Many times, the players who also go out first and second every single round become the winner of the game because they have consistency and are scoring points every single round compared to the other players who might be stuck with no points on one round but have huge points on another round. So just keep an eye out on where every player is with their marshmallow points. It actually is possible to target a player and try to get them to go out first so they don't score as many points or to try to let them not win many tricks to try to make them the last player in the round to get zero points. Each round you most likely won't be playing every card unless you're playing a five player game. But you can choose to be a little more free on what cards and choices that you make because you most likely are not going to get stuck with the remaining cards in your hand to either win or lose tricks that you want to either lose or win. So the game doesn't really bite you for your bad planning because the game doesn't require much planning. It requires cunning card placement of your cards for that turn. Of course, the more players that you have, it changes, so planning becomes a little more important, but that's not the case every single time. Also, just to mention this, in a five-player game, if the round ends with players playing all 12 cards and there are still two players that haven't gone out, then they both score zero points. Anyways, this is such a lovely trick-taking game that you need to play, so grab some marshmallows, some cards, and play Marshmallow Test by Game Right. Marshmallow Test! Marshmallow Test! Marshmallow Test! Marshmallow Test! Again, this is Board Game Brody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stick around and check out some other board game reviews to see what you might want to get to the table.